Hey guys, today uh, we're going to discuss fish lenses, uh, what they do and roughly what they are. So you can spot the fish lens when you see an image and yeah, be informed about what they do. First off, let's look at the difference between a normal lens and a fisheye lens. In a normal lens, uh, you get a completely undistorted image. The image is exactly the same how it really is. The lines uh, we have in this example are completely straight. There is no bending, there is no curve, there is nothing. Of course, uh, in the middle, the red are the center lines, the green are the vertical lines, the blue are the horizontal lines, and blue is the center, a dark blue. And yeah, uh, the image distortion is around the center. And the center lines uh, stay the same. They stay undisordered, kind of. And you see, uh, the more you go from the center, the more it is bent from the center. It's bending in direction of the center, like, like a sphere, kind of. So, yeah, if you, if you draw a sphere, it's kind of like that, disordered. And yeah, uh, center lines, when you're in the center of the image, uh, they don't really get disordered at all. Yeah, that's basically uh, what fisheye lenses do, how they disort. And depending on the lens, they disort more or less, but the type of uh, distortion is basically the same. Uh, of course, there are wider angles and less wide angles, but you always get this uh, spherical distortion. And when we talk about fish lenses, I thought, let's go to my best friend, Wikipedia, the hoard of knowledge, the, the space where you find everything you need to view the world in a new light. Let's, let's see what they say. Fisher lens, an ultra wide angle lens. Okay, so seems mostly to be used for doing wide angle images. Interesting. So that produces strong visual distortion. Yeah, you could kind of say that. That's true. Intended to create a wide panoramic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see the bending in that image at the wait. At the floor, I think. Can't say. And it's hard to say if that's I think that's a fish lens. So and oh or that's that's interesting. Uh Strong visual distortion intended to create a wide panoramic or spherical image. That's that's very interesting. So yeah, the, we saw before uh, that uh, the distortion is kind of spherical and always bends to the center. Uh, very interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Extremely wide angles. Yeah. Uh, blah. So, uh, fish eye lenses are also used for scientific photography, such as recording of aurora and meteors, whatever that is. Aurora. Let's see. Let's see. There. You can, you can see uh, the distortion to the center. There's somewhere the center. And there is a distortion. That, that is uh, definitely a fish lens. The others... I don't know, maybe, maybe a less disorting fish lens, I guess. That's, that's very interesting. The only thing that Wikipedia is not telling you is, uh, yeah, I mean, scientific photography, it's, it's kind of, you, you also uh, have many, many uh, recordings of stratosphere footage uh, with fisheye lenses, but we go over that later. Let's 
look at this image, a uh, circular fisher photograph of the chromatic aberration can clearly be seen toward the outer edges. So, okay, uh, yeah, uh, kind of uh, the focus of the colors is uh, the colors are not focused to the same point and you get this weird 3D looking image with these uh, red and green uh, glasses, you know. Uh, there, there you got chromatic aberration. The colors are not focused at the same place. That's That's very kind of interesting. And also you see the, I mean, <laughs> the bending. <laughs> The spherical blending about around the center there. The tower is bent. The house is completely bent. I mean, yeah, you can see it. Very good, very good. So uh, that's how it really looks, and you can crop it. And mostly in the uh, fish lens footage, you mostly see this one where it's cropped and the edges of the image are on the edges of the sphere so you have a complete image without these black spaces so let's see yeah at the side completely bent in the middle not really the middle kind of stays the same but the rest is kind of bent around the center the same here you got there in the middle, there, nearly no bending at all. It seems very near to the center lines, but uh, there you got a little bending to the mid and there also, and there it gets stronger and stronger and also, also there, there it's spherical bending again. There, the same, there is, it's, it's nearly straight nearly to the center there you see bending to the center again there you see it very strong okay so what can you show us there are uh, more wide angle footage there of course and you see it on the floor uh, the floor tiles are completely straight, but in the image, because of the distortion, they're completely bent to the center. And there, area. Yeah. There you got a insanely wide angle uh, footage of the whole hall. That's insane. But yeah, that's fish lens too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing, really. Uh, you can do a lot of sick stuff with it. Of course, uh, <laughs> this guy doesn't look like this. <laughs> this completely straight, but you see the bend bending. That's insane. And yeah, there you have the floor completely bent tiles, and there in the real image, complete straight. You see there the glass completely bent. There in the real image, complete straight uh, on the uh, on the upper ceiling. You you can't see the difference that much, obviously. But there you see uh, the shadows are bending too to the center to the center, like a sphere a little bit. And there you can of course see the shadows not bending. It's just fish lens. Yeah, and there you have the comparison, normal view, then stereographic, equidistant, solid angle, autographic, and they, you see in all these images it's kind of spherical projection or distortion, sorry. Yeah, and that's about how Wikipedia shows us how fish lenses work thanks wikipedia next let's let's look at uh, gopro gopros are widely used in 
sports, of course, and also other stuff like sending up balloons and so on. Uh, the thing is with GoPros, uh, they're fish lenses. I think that they're fish lens kind of because if you if you do have an action camera, you want a wider angle than normal. So I think that may be uh, the reason why GoPros are fish lens. Of course, uh, there you see uh, the bending around the center. There you have the bending there completely bent. I mean, there you see a little bit of bending there. There is also the complete earth is bending to the center of the image. Da, 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 da. There you can also see it a little bit. The river is bending a little bit there. The whole earth is bending to the center, somewhere there, I think. Let's looky, looky. There you have it, the bending to the center. GoPro wallpaper. Ah. There you got a little bit of bending there. And there you got it. There you have the bending. There you can't see it that much. There. And it always bends to the center. There was, I think, wait, there. There you also see it bending to the center. So the GoPros are fish lenses and they distort the footage. They're cool for action and so on, but if you want a real undistorted image, uh, GoPros are not the way to go. And what I told you about uh, Wikipedia, what they didn't write into that Fish Eye Lens uh, article is that Fish lenses are also used for stratosphere images. Uh, GoPro stratosphere. So we know GoPros are fish lenses and you see stratosphere image, the center, and it's bending around the center. Again, it's, it's always the same thing. And some GoPros bend more, some less, but the more you go from the center away, the more it gets bent. And there it nearly gets bent the other way because the center is, I don't know, it's kind of cool. There you got the bending a little bit. There. I think, I think this image is kind of cropped because I think it's bending to the other way. And I think the, the center is kind of there. Uh, that's, uh, I think that's cropped, uh, cropped image. There you have it. Nope. There. A little bit bent to the center. There. There a little bit upwards. There's the center. There's the center. Gets bent to the center. To the center. Bending to the center. Yeah, that's uh, that's what GoPros are also used for, and that's always always interesting to know because uh, what do you really see? Uh, you mostly see the bending of the image uh, because most footages when you when you see you see uh, when the when the center of the image uh, goes above the earth the earth has an inverted curvature and uh, that's not because the earth is obviously not bending the other way but uh, it's all the distortion of the fish lens that has 
nothing to do with any curvature or something. It's just the bending to the center because the center is above the earth. The earth horizon gets bent up to the center. And of course, when it's looking down in the stratosphere images, if the center is below the horizon, the horizon gets bent down to the center again, always to the center. And uh, most of the stratosphere uh, footages, most of the videos of stratosphere are using fish lens cameras. You can prove, uh, prove that yourself. You can uh, look if, if the center is below the horizon, the horizon gets bound down. If it's above the horizon, it gets kind of inverted. Wait, where was, where was the zoom, uh, footage? There. If it's above the horizon, it gets inverted curvature because it's always, always bending to the center. That's how you know you have a fish lens camera. Also, let me show you uh, for a little uh, the, the different distortion rates. Uh, every camera has different uh, strength of distortion. So let's see this camera, for instance, looks like this, then that is a little different distortion. And that is a pretty, pretty strong distortion, you see. But you see in all that images, the center lines don't get disordered at all. So that's interesting. So yeah, uh, they have different strengths, but the distortion always stays spherical. Let's go to the practical part. There I will uh, show disordered fish lens images and then undisord them and show them how they really look in real life. Of course, first I show the disordered images. Uh, this house is, has completely straight lines, of course, but the fish lens makes it bend to the center again. So, I know it's very, very low resolution, but I undisordered it and that's how it looks like, you know, that's really, 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 really hard distortion, kind of, but you see, that's how it normally looks like, completely straight lines, everything's normal, like the houses we know, not like these not bent like whatever so let's go to the next uh, there we got the direct comparison you see you can only see the distortion when you see it, the tiles there you have the bending going on there it's completely straight there also a little bit of bending Da, 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 da. They're bent and so on. Let's go to the next. This is a really strong distortion. I had a hard time undisorting it, honestly. Uh, wait, I need to do this. So, ha! there you see, uh, this is kind of a hard distortion, but that's how it kind of looks undisorted. It's very hard to undisort it because it's so wide, the angle. But the dog is very cute, I think. So it all makes sense. Oh, Let's go to the next image. The hole, you see. There it's straight again. Uh, I don't know if I could undisort everything. I don't know if that's still disordered because of the angle, because it's so wide. Uh, but in the center, everything is undisordered around this area. That may still be sorted. I don't know exactly. I mean, 
but that is completely undisordered even if it's uh bad resolution but that's because it's uh of the undistortion and yeah that's bending to the center again let's go let's go so there you see the the earth's bending like whoa <laughs> this angle and this angle are very different but you see in reality uh, they're all in a straight line <laughs> all have the same angles and are not like this and like this that's that's insane so that's obviously a fish lens and that's the undisordered let's go oh yeah that's kind of a normal rectangular desk, but it's kind of disordered, very hard. So I'm sorry for the resolution you see. <laughs> the... <laughs> uh, yeah, but you see, I'm disordered. It's completely straight, but oh, of course, I the resolution is not that good, <laughs> but you can see the uh, it's completely rectangular and that's how the form looks like undisordered <laughs> even if it's not the best resolution but I can't do anything about that when I undisord it it's sometimes very very low rest but we gotta live with that I guess there you see it also the buildings bend around the center very very weird and there the, the floor also bends the more farther away from the center, the extremer it gets. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Damn. It's low resolution, but everything's straight again. There you see the houses. That's how it really looks like. And there, because of the wide angle, not everything gets completely undisordered. There is still the distortion, but but here in the center, it's completely undisordered. So, let's see. Du, du, du. At least the houses are undisordered. <laughs> there may be uh, a curve in this, uh, in this floor. But the houses are definitely straight. So that's how it looks undisordered, that's how it looks disordered. Weird, because that line see, seems in this image like straight and then kind of curved. It's funny. <laughs> you never know. We never know with these fish lenses. But because we have the houses, we can say that, uh, that that's how it really looks like. Because the houses definitely are straight. We can say that with simply uh, with uh, high certainty <laughs> that they're not bending like that to the center, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so let's go to the next uh, haven. Okay, that's that's just that's just a mess. I mean, you can't really undisort it like like really because the angle is so wide you can only undisort the center kind of but the center is kind of undisorted but that's how it would look like when you kind of undisort the center of course it's it's not it's not perfect obviously but uh, it's so wide angle i i can't undisort it like this it's just just insane oh the wood Bending to the center, this wood. That's not how it should look like. Now, that's more what we're talking about, you know? There, there's the floor. There's the forest top. That's, that's how it should look like. But with fish lands, it looks kind of like these. Everything's bending to the center again. The trees, the floor, everything. And now my favorite image. I love these images. You see, the earth horizon gets completely bent. You think you see some curvature or something. 
hey there but surprise surprise if you undisort it you get completely everything straight of course there is a little bit of hills there but there is no curve right there it's not bent anyway and you see there the cylinder is completely symmetrical and when you look there the fish lens camera distorts perfectly a uh, perfectly symmetrical object so when you have a cylinder pointing to you in the fish lens footage you can adjust the undistortion so that the cylinder is perfectly symmetrical and you have um disordered the image in the right uh right undistortion braid and of course the cannon is also straight there it has a slight curve also but of course that's not the case in real life there you got the city and again bending to the center let's go oh man this distortion <laughs> so low res but you can see there straight line straight line da, da, da. and there still this distortion going on but in the center it's undisordered and looks cool well like it should be let's go beach that's a hard one because i couldn't completely undisord it honestly but kind of uh, to the uh to the borders of the image i think it's still a little bit disordered but that's how it should really look like that's how it looks like in the fish lens yeah you see the perspective distortion there that's that's how how it looks like when you look on the beach not not like that so let's see carousel there you see obviously a bending there and there you see now it looks like it should be of course it it also it's weird it it looks normal when you see that but if you see the real thing you see you notice the difference that that is how it really should look like but it's hard to tell if you don't have the reference the streets let's see there you see the buildings and this da, da, da. of course there is there straight and there but there this uh this cable is bent a little bit there and there it's completely straight of course to the borders it's still disordered there the buildings are not disordered anymore not bending to the center straight lines you see that that's how it should look like and that's not how reality looks like normally except through a fish lens there you have insane bending going on of course because the center is there <laughs> the farther it goes off the more it's disordered so that's undisordered little so you see there are straights and this is how a city looks like this is how it looks like undisordered and low resolution amazing and that's the fish lens doing its thing yeah you see again a weird banding going on let's take this out and that's how it should look like that's how it looks like when you go there and look to the skies and say hello there i'm here i'm not a fish lens i see normal then you see that and if you're a fish lens guy that has fish lens eyes you see that that's how it is so uh we we saw it before when i searched for gopro footage you see the earth is bending weirdly like a tube but of course because 
fish lenses, GoPros, bend to the center. We got this weird effect. Can undo it. And you see, there is no bending there going on. And you see also there and there a little bit a bending. That's completely gone. You see, the bending there is completely gone. The bending is only because of the fish lens of the GoPro. We can ultimately undisort it and get these straight lines, beautiful straight lines. So, um, we got another GoPro with a motocross dude. Let's go. You see, the earth bends around the center. That's undisorted. Nyum, 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 nyum. Low resolution, but <laughs> you see a completely straight line and that's how it should look like. Really, it's insanely wide angle, you see, and <laughs> of course, not everything is maybe completely undisorted because it's not possible, but the center is completely undisorted and yeah, that's how it really looks like without a fish lens. Da, da, da. And that's with a fish lens, the curve around the center. Nium, nium. And we got the GoPro footage. We saw that footage also in the... I showed uh, when I searched for GoPro stratosphere. You also saw that image. I, I also have reference image. Uh, that's, that's not from now. That's from earlier. Okay, GoPro image from Stratosphere. Okay, let's go. The GoPro, as we know. What does it do? It's a fish lens and it bends around the center. So when it's below the horizon, the horizon gets bent to the center and gets a little bit curved down. You see, you see there uh, the difference from the... Uh, the blue there is shorter than there. You see that? You see this? This is this ocean. This ocean. So. Du, 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 and that's how it should look like. Neo. There is kind of a straight line. It's still different. I don't know. Why that is, don't know, but now it's undisorted because of the GoPro bending to the center. And that's how it normally looks like. It, this looks like when you look down, I feel, but this is kind of all, also the, the surface footage is, feels a little bit disordered, but if you undersort the GoPro, of course, make the anti-fish lenses, then you get this. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe on the sides of the cameras or of this camera, it's somehow getting more hate there. I don't know. It's, it is, may not be the fish lens, but that's how it looks like. So, uh, let's go. And Felix Baumgartner, my boy, the favorite. Look at this. It curves. But you can see in the Felix Baumgartner footage, this thing is straight, okay? Uh, when, you, when you watch, not, not when he is up there, but when they film it from outside before it's going up, you know, when it's when it's still standing on the ground, you see that this is not bending, okay? And this is a strange, uh, you know, uh, it looks very disordered. And these, let's look. Let's look, let's, let's get this straight, guys. Let's get this unlensed, this fish lens, because it's bending to the center. Again, bending to the center, you see? Bending to the center. Yo, nim, 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 nim. You see, straight line, straight line. That's how it really looks like. It doesn't look disordered anymore, but 
it looks kind of disordered there like like it, like it's going going uh going out of the image you know like a 3d image it's weird and that's how how you how it's really looking like i mean that's that's looking real and that's also you know you see that is completely straight there it's completely curved you obviously see the distortion from the fish lens they're completely straight line you see completely straight line because this is straight you can look it up in the footage earlier before he's going up because outside they're using fish lenses but there you see it to the center the center is there and there it's bending and there it's bending Bam. and yeah that's that's my boy boy Baumgartner right there and that's the fish lens footage of his jump yeah and i think that was it for this video i hope you now recognize fish lenses when you see them and i hope now you know that in very many uh, stratosphere footages they are using fish eye lens cameras also in the felix baumgartner jump in the outside they're using it as we showed today that you know and yeah look look at also also this look at this there you have you have this this weird weird curving thing and then then you see up there like like it's supposed to be that's up there that's built up there and that's that's like going in and then up but but that's it's it's like is it go going kind of in and up and it's it's kind of really disordered view but if you're undisordered it's it's kind of it kind of makes sense when you look at at it with with your own uh deaf uh perspective with your own feeling how how you how you experience it in real life you never experience something to go like this you always see things more like this but of course i i don't know maybe maybe still uh, some things down there i don't know i don't think they're distorted but up there up there this this thing is not distorted anymore it really looks cool it looks real this looks like out of a 3d movie or something <laughs> so yeah uh, that's it for this time and yeah hope you now know how fish lenses work and can spot them from three kilometers minimum okay so that's it for today bye guys hi guys today we are going to do fish lenses <laughs>